Hello and welcome to another video on Fight Club 5. Today I want to show you uh, the basics of inventory management. Uh, so we're going to go into my test character here and just kind of start off. Now, when you initially create a character using the wizard, you get a number of options to buy the kits uh, using the um, purchase feature uh, in the wizard. In this case, I didn't select any gear because I just wanted to start from scratch and show you a couple of different ways that you can manage your inventory. The first thing that's important to note is that you don't have to do anything special um, to add items. You can simply click the plus, go to add item, and then you can select from any number of these various categories. Uh, so in this case with the weapons, I'm going to go and add a long sword. Here we go. Uh, if I wanted to customize the item, uh, if I had a magic item or something else that I have created, uh, homebrew or whatnot, I can add that information in here. I'm just going to click the checkbox, and there is my long sword, and I can equip it one handed, two handed, or whatnot. Uh, and then I want to add a couple other items. So in this case, let's add some clothing. So we'll go to add item. And then again, I can go back to uh, venturing gear in this case. Say common clothes. I can equip it. You don't have to equip it. It is completely uh, optional. This is just for a visual. Um, just so that you know what items you do have selected, which ones you don't. Uh, in this case, I want to go and then add some armor. So we'll go to add item again and we'll select armor and shields, and then I'll just select, uh, well, we'll go with chainmail. Again, can customize if necessary, and there we go. And now that's equipped, and as it's equipped, you'll notice that it automatically updates the armor class, armor class 16. Now, another way that you can add items is you can add anything that is currently on another character in the app. So in this case, if I wanted to go and say, I want to add a particular item from another character, say, uh, maybe this is Dagger, same thing, and now it's added. Uh, you can also do this for what is called containers. Now, containers are just like they sound. It basically allows me to go in and add something, add a container. Uh, in this case, I can add any of the predetermined packs that are defined in the player's handbook. I can add items that are currently carried by other people. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to select a Explorer's Pack. And you'll notice that the Explorer's Pack comes with some items automatically. I can go and customize things here if I want to, uh, and I can remove things. For instance, I'm going to add the water skin separately. Um, so I'll remove that here, delete. Uh, also important to note is at the top where it says carry and ignore weight of items. Uh, carry means that everything on here weight wise is transferred to the character for encumbrance. Uh, if I turned it off, it would be say a chest in a carriage or a chest left at home uh, and the contents would not convey to the character. Uh, another item is another selection is the ignore weight of items. Now, if I had a bag of holding or a handy haversack, I could select this, and then those items don't count against my encumbrance. Uh, I may be carrying it, but whatever the weight of the container is all that gets transferred. Uh, this is a regular backpack, so I'm going to say yes. And now you see I have all those various items. Now, I mentioned the water skin. I'm going to just copy that from another character, uh, because in a lot of my campaigns, what I do is I have a custom item for water, just for the, the weight of that, um, for realistic campaigns. So I'm just gonna copy it from the other one so I don't have to do it multiple times. And you'll notice that I now have another container for water skin and I have my water there. As I consume it, I can remove a pint. And you notice that it affects the weight. That's uh, one of the reasons I like doing it. Uh, when you do a realistic survival type of, uh, gritty survival type of campaign, 
it's nice to be able to track that um, because, of course, water is heavy. <laughs> now, another thing that I can do is I can move things between the equipment I'm carrying um, or various other containers. In this case, I'm going to go and add a coin purse. So I'm going to add it from scratch because it's not a big deal. And I'm just going to say... Coin purse. Uh, I think a pouch is a pound. Uh, I won't give it a value. I'm carrying it. And there we go. Now I can add items here or I can just add as an empty container. And then if I want to move my gold, I can do it two, one of two ways. I can tap and hold on the equip button and say move to coin purse. And it'll ask me how much. So I can change the, the amount I want to move. And there it goes. And then if I wanted to spend money, uh, you'll notice that this is also tracking weight of coins. Uh, some people don't, some people do uh, track that information in their campaigns. This would be easy to do if I just wanted to go and say ignore weight of items. I'm now no longer tracking the weight of my coins, uh, which I know is a popular house rule. You'll also notice that you can condense things to make them a little easier, uh, especially if you're a backpack or if you have other items um, that you just don't necessarily need to look at on a regular basis. Uh, another thing I mentioned, again, was the ability to leave things at home. So this is very useful for players that have a home base. Um, you can just do something like left at home, or you could do a chest or vault or wherever it is you're storing items. I'm not going to worry about weight because I'm not carrying it. Uh, and I want to ignore weight of items. I'm just going to hit set there, and now I have a container. So if I was to say, uh, leave my torches at home, I can go in and move to left at home. Another way I can move that is if I click on the, uh, what looks like a weight symbol up at the top, I can literally just drag items to new locations. And there you have it. Uh, this is one of my favorite features in Fight Club 5. Uh, I do like to run campaigns where I keep track of encumbrance, uh, but with the paper forms, uh, that's very difficult to do. A lot of people aren't going to keep track of how much their tinderbox weighs or their mess kit. And a lot of these things are a single pound, but the bedroll being seven pounds. I mean, a lot of this stuff really adds up. As you can see, uh, this character is already a carrying load of 114 pounds. Um, out of his 165. Of course, that's because he's an 11 strength. Um, so it's just a really great feature to have. And if you don't want to track the encumbrance, um, you can very easily go in and just turn off the ignore weight of items or turn off carry. Uh, another thing you may have seen just now is when I tapped on the item, I can put something down. Um, so if I was to put down my backpack, doesn't change there. I go back into edit and it says I'm no longer carrying it. Uh, so it's another great way of saying I'm going to take this container and put it somewhere and then remove it from your encumbrance. Uh, and he drops down to 70 pounds. Um, so that's pretty much all there is with the inventory management. Uh, I hope you found this useful. And if you'd like to see more Fight Club 5 uh, and uh, some Game Master 5 videos that I'll be starting shortly, uh, please subscribe and uh, thank you for watching.